Hey guys, so Reaper here, playing Kerbal Space Program, and this is my attempt at making a fifth or sixth generation uh, fighter plane. I call it the F-10,000, because it's sort of a future craft. It can go uh, very fast, has the ability to VTOL, and is armed for ground and air targets. And uh, you can see two Kerbals. So, let's take it for a spin. Um, we have the, um, uh, j the, uh, the main jet engines. Which has a, a very high uh, thrust capability. If you push it too hard, it can even break your plane. Very easily. At any height. So... Very high speed. You use this one. The plane is pretty uh, maneuverable, but since the engine has no Kimball, it could be. Uh, if I use a different engine, it could be more uh, maneuverable. But I really like this one. Target, target. Come on, come on. I put some targets up. If I can lock on him, select. Oh. Uh, that's the only problem. There we go. Okay, so let's go to some of the armaments. If you press three, you will open the biggest gear, uh, cargo bay, which holds uh, six. What are they called again? Let's see. A uh, Hellfire Sidewinder missiles. And we're not looking for sidewinders, what am I doing? If you press 4, you'll open the small one, which holds Hellfire missiles. Now, uh, these missiles can be fired at any speed. Normally they can't, but or this one can. They can uh, resist a bump. And they will hit the uh, back of the cargo bay, but they will keep straight. Which is pretty funny, if you think about it. And it will simply drop. Uh, I, you can add uh, uh, times to the missile for how long it takes to, uh, to fall before they really start to fire off. So now we have the target. Six fires weapons. Five toggles them uh, or switches them. There it goes. That one was pretty close to my own nose. I did one a little bit too close to the target at this speed. But as you can see, I'm going about 250. Maybe I, I was even going faster than that. And it doesn't matter. The missiles fall out. They bounce against the back, but they don't... Let's see, they don't... Uh, it doesn't matter for them. So, close four. Turn off the main engine. And turn on the VTOL engine. Now, for VTOL engines, you have to hold uh, 2. That's for the uh, uh, sliding part here, which you saw move to the side. And um, you can close them up again by pressing 1, which starts the main engine, which you have to hold. For the engines, this will mean a single uh, button press. Okay, now everything is fucked up. Oh no, it's okay again. Um, what am I doing? Okay, turn off the main engine. So, now we're in VTOL mode. Uh, so you have to press the buttons to um, and hold them to make this slide. It's a slider from the uh, Infernal Robotics, which you can, as far as I know, not yet uh, put to a single button to toggle it open and closed, you know? So, press 4 again, pick the new target which we have, and fire, fire, fire. Gotcha! Now we have about, uh, how much did I fire? We have a lot of hellfires, you know, for a lot of ground targets. We Wee! 
For some reason, uh, if you fire them with no targets, the most of them will go straight, but some of them will go everywhere. So, huh? What did I blow up? Hmm. Okay. I wasn't aiming for that. That's weird. Okay. Uh, close four again. Okay, so now I'm going to activate the uh, normal engine by holding it, and this will uh, the uh, VTOL cover will close also. And then press two to deactivate the VTOL engine. Now we just have to gain speed without hitting the ground, but I think we'll make it. Now we have one more target left. A simple Raven Spear on the uh, uh, island runway, or the Iceland runway, whatever you want to call it. So we press 5 again to switch the weapons. We hit the Sidewinders. Which isn't really meant for a ground target. I've been trying to hit with it with these weapons, but I seem to be missing a lot. So, um, as you can see we can go pretty fast. Uh, or is it the closing speed? I don't know. Oh no, it's our movement speed. We're about uh, 600 meters and we're going about a... 500? Did it do something with the... No, oh, okay. Normal. Um... If you go high, you can reach higher speeds, and if you go through the sound barrier, it will go even faster than this. But first, we'll take out the uh, Raven Spear. So, pressing 3 opens up the large cargo bay, which holds the. Uh, what are they called again? Sidewinders. Yes, Sidewinders. Let's try to aim towards our target and fire with 6. Yeah, lucky shot, I think. So, press 3 to close again. So, part of it is still there. So, we'll go back to VTOL mode. Oh, I forgot to press the button. My mistake. Hold the button, not press, but that's what I meant. So, now we switch to the... Uh, let's slow ourselves a little bit down. We switch to the hidden Vulcan cannons, which are on the uh, front bottom here. And let's give it a few salvos. Ay! And that went completely wrong. Oh well. Oh, that guy, that's the uh, F-10,000, guys. I hope you like it. I will uh, uh, put the video up first and uh, put all the mods up later, because it's pretty late here. And uh, it was a little bit longer video than normal, but we had a little bit more things to do. A little bit more action, blowing stuff up, which is always good. And uh, if you guys like the videos, please like the video. If you want to see more, subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.